A lot of times people ask me, am I afraid of bears? Not at all, not at all. Actually, they calm me down. I mean, I see a bear approaching, he has that movement like boom, boom, boom. I just go like, how beautiful you are. I always said that the attachment for wildlife. I photographed polar bears. I almost circumnavigated the Arctic, so the Russian Arctic, the Canadian Arctic. And I always heard stories about this spirit bear, which is actually a black bear with a genetic mutation and is actually white. It's like a creamy color, but it's very, very rare. There is only between four to 1,000 individuals left, and they're concentrated in British Columbia in Canada. The best season for spotting the spirit bear is in um, September, October, because there is the salmon run, and that's the only possibility for you to see them. You just sit and wait, that's what you do. That's what wildlife is all about. It's about waiting and patient until something happens. And suddenly we spotted a mom and I was a white mom with a black baby. I was really super excited, but also a bit disappointed because on one side she was totally dark because she, wasn't, she went in the mud. And I was like, I can't believe it's the first pure bear and she's all dirty. You cannot say, hey, please clean, right? It's not like a model shoot. The next year I went back with a different guy and that time we had a bear, we, we named it Mushroom. One night we spotted a big, big track of a grizzly bear. So we were really worried because it was for the last three days that we were going back to the same spot, but we didn't see Mushroom. So we were thinking, hmm, maybe the grizzly got him. And so it was at the end of the day, five o'clock, and Marvin said, OK, I'm going to go take the boat. And then suddenly I hear him shouting, and I think, oh my gosh, I was scared to death. I thought, the Chris is there. And so I ran down, and it was like 50 meters, I could see Marvin, and it was the white bear. And then we could approach so that I could even hear him breathing. And it was such an amazing experience. Being so close to such a really, really rare animal and being tolerated, being in peace. He would just open his eyes like from time to time, peek at us, totally relax, no sign of stress, nothing. And those are priceless moments. For me, ethics comes first. I will never put in danger or disturb an animal just to get a picture. Um, so as soon as I see the stress in the animals, I just stop and give him space until he's the one who will approach me. I totally do not agree in baiting animals or feeding for having them close to you. And there is a lot of pictures I love to have, but I say, no, it's not me, it's not what, who I am. The Great Bering Forest right now is under a great threat because they're planning to build a huge pipeline to bring the tar sand oil from um, Alberta through the forest. That will cause um, huge damage to the forest itself, destroying some of the habitat of the spear bear. There is no other places on earth, and the spear bear is only living there. So it's really our duty to bring awareness on these issues.